Hello there, my name is uh, Lucas Urschwern, also known as Silverfish on the internets. And uh, in this video I'm going to be talking about the sun size that you have in Blender Cycles. So if we turn this lamp into a sun, you can see that the size is set to 1 or 0 0.1. Now when I uh, do my modeling I like to try to keep to real world measurements because it just makes everything easier for me. The one thing that hasn't been a real-world measurement, obviously, is the sun size. So if we just render this right here, right now, you can see the shadows are very blurry, and this is supposed to be a 2 by 2 meter cube. And this is like, yeah, this looks like the building would be maybe 20 meters tall or something when it's this blurry, or even more maybe, not 2 meters tall. So I set up on set out on a quest because I went on the internet and tried to find like what is the real size of the sun like what should I if I want to make a photorealistic rendering in the cycles what should this size be and I couldn't find anything so I did some experimentation on my own instead so what I did is I went to um, Wikipedia and I searched for angular size. Because uh, the sun, as seen from Earth, cannot have like a size in any, any like normal meter unit or anything like that. It needs to be in angles as compared to us. So if you imagine the sun is this is thing right here, here is you looking at it. It's this angle right here that that we're interested in, that we are interested in. Like what's this angle? So scrolling down here. We can see right here. The table shows that angular diameter of the sun when seen from Earth is approximately. 32 arc minutes, but yada yada yada, or 0 0.53 degrees. So we can use this value um, in Blender to try to figure it out. So what I did was I uh, first off I rotate the sun, Alt R, so it's pointing straight down, and then I create a uh, I create that angle basically. So I remove this. So Right here we have a line. I'm going to just duplicate this line. Let me actually put the cursor right there and rotate around the cursor. So I'm going to take this point over here, duplicate that, and rotate it 0 0.53 degrees around the z-axis. 0.53. So that's that angle right there. Oop. As you can see. And right now I want it to point straight down. Right now it's, as you can see, this bottom line is straight, but this upper line is a bit twisted and we don't want that. So we need to compensate for the um, 0 0.53 angle. So I'm going to rotate the entire thing half of 0 0.53. So I just bring up my calculator. 0 0.53 divided by 2 equals 0 0.265. So I'm going to rotate. 0.265 and now both of them are slanted and uh, that's looking nice. So now I'm going to rotate this so it's facing straight down. Uh, rotate Y 90 degrees. And then let's take this cube and make it uh, much taller. So we have something to work with. I'm going to place my angle thing in the center with Alt-G. Actually, I need to uh, reset the center for that work. Cursor to selected, Control shift yada yada, origin to 3D cursor. And then we move that up, make it larger so it covers the whole thing. It doesn't matter if we make it larger or smaller, as you can see the angle is exactly the same, so that's fine. So now we have this thing going right, right down here. So what I did was I made uh, two slits. Oh, what's this? Like so. And then I just scale them down so that they fit this angular thing. Because this angle right now that we have, it represents like how much the sun should spread. Is the goal anyway. And then we can move this slit at the top move down to the bottom and uh, we size that up like so 
So this is the area basically that I have selected right here. That uh, when the sun has the correct size, it should only cover this area. Let's remove the ground so that's not in the way. It should only cover this area. So let's give that a different material. I'm just gonna make it like blue or something and set the viewport color to the same thing. So I need to assign it, of course. There we go. And um, now uh, we should be able to render this. Uh, I'm just going to put out a rendered view. Actually, let me turn on uh, using my graphics card as well, so it goes a bit faster. There we are. And uh, right now the whole thing seems to be illuminated. And uh, that is in part because we haven't adjusted the the light paths yet. We need to adjust. We don't want the light to bounce at all. We just want the direct light. That's all we're interested in. So I'm just going to put all these things down to zero, 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 zero. And no caustics, no bouncing, direct light. Very good. But it's still illuminated, illuminated so that means that the sun size is too large, simply. So I'm going to split this view, may I? Over there. Go over to our sun, let's look at it there. And change to the sun size. So look, look here right now. Put it 0 0.01 maybe. Oh, it's still a bit too large. You can see it covers too much of an area. It should cover only this blue part. Put it to 0 0.005. And uh, there we go. It seems to be pretty much exact. We can still see a little bit more there. Let's actually increase the uh, sampling on the preview. So we shouldn't see any color over there for it to be totally exact. Maybe 4045. And there it's totally gone by the looks of it. 48. Yeah, it seems to like, I don't know if it defaults to 0 0.005. No, it doesn't, because then we wouldn't see the difference. 47. Yeah, so around 0 0.0047 should be the exact value. But I think 0 0.005 is like close enough. No one will notice any difference. And yeah, so that's the uh, the way that I came to the conclusion of of uh, what sun size should be like a correct sun size. And uh, I actually tested this. I made a model of my room, and because the sun comes in through my window and things like that. Uh, so the model was to scale. Uh, I set the sun size to zero point zero zero five, and just tested to see, like looked in the real world and uh, looked at my render to see if the shadows looked the same and uh, they were pretty much spot on. So yeah, 0 0.005, um, is this like a good size? Is Does this calculation, do the test that I made make sense at all? Like from a real world perspective or uh, have I missed something? Yeah, just any feedback on this, I would uh, very much appreciate it. So thanks a lot for watching and uh, yeah, have a nice day.